Hi, so sharing this video just to let people know what I did on an idea for a tire mount on a Class C RV should be able to work on just about any type of RV with a bumper. But with Class C RVs, since the tire is a bit larger than a travel trailer, um, I didn't want to use a typical tire mount that attached to the bumper because it gives it too much torsion, too much twist on the bumper. And there's just a lot of other videos you could see with stories about failures and things like that. So I wanted to have a setup that didn't really use the hitch because I use my rack since this doesn't really have a whole lot of storage in the RV itself. But um, I wanted the hitch available for towing a flatbed and also this rack when I just put firewood, things like that. But um, I'll show you what I did to reinforce the bumper and my idea on how to get the tire on the bumper to place the load in a way that doesn't put too much strain on it. So what I did was I started off with this mount. Um, I drilled a hole into the frame and it loops around. So by it going over top, it hugs it against the bumper, but it also goes all the way down to this bump stop and it's holding it up like a shelf. But it's also hugging it. So even if it didn't have this bottom part, this top piece would prevent it from twisting. And then this bottom piece is giving it upward support. So I did the same thing on the other side. Right here. Came out a little different just because I was experimenting, but same, th same deal. This one, I just kind of using friction to push against there. So the weight of the bumper pushes down and it's gonna make the uh, piece of metal go into the frame. That's my flag mount, just as an idea for anyone else that might want to do something similar. But what I did was started off with those um, metal mounts to help the bumper just be reinforced because whole other videos on bumpers failing at the welds on the way they're normally attached. As you could see on mine, it looks pretty beefy with this big bolt and this big thick channel, but the weak point is gonna be how it's um, welded right here. And it's welded to a very thin piece of metal on the bumper. And I've seen videos where it just shears off. Um, it's attached very well to the frame, but it where it's mounted to the bumper is just really thin metal so whole other videos on that I'm not going to dive into that but that's why i did the metal braces hugging it and attaching two pieces of the frame that bumper cannot fail um or it would take a lot for it to fail now with that said the bumper mount i'll give you a quick zoom in of that what i did was um I use these hitch connection adapters you can find those on amazon and it didn't require any bolt, uh, drilling. It just hugs on snugly. You could use these for bike racks and things like that, but I'm using it for this mount. So from the outside of the tire mount, you could see these are just arms. They extend all the way to about here inside and then drill a hole. It just can, I drilled a hole roughly here, but that's where the hole is. And this is holding it in so it can't slide in and out. And these little hitch vibrator things um, come separate than these, but I forget the, what they're called. I think they're hitch vibration um, adapters. If you did some kind of search for that, you'll find it. I did one down there for the rack. It helps with the twisting and just the shaking, but um, this is on there very snugly. And 
I have that on the other side. And then I'll zoom out just so you can see how I built this thing. Just some square tubing, two inch by two inch, the arm, cross member, same thing. These are kind of like gusset plate concepts. Big um, arm to hold up this plate, which is welded, right? And then the, the point of this round plate is just so it could bolt on to um, the holes on the rim. And the main thing about this idea is the tire is sitting on the bumper. So the, the weight isn't actually being held on the mount. It, the bumper is holding it up. And the reason I liked this idea was it's the, it's the concept of holding 50 pounds on your shoulders versus in your arms st sticking straight out. It's going to be a whole lot harder holding it straight out versus out on your shoulders. So the, a lot of the mounts that you see are set up to attach to the bumper and then it sticks out and the weight is sticking out. So now you have this moment, this um, turning force and that's what creates the strain on your bumper wanting to twist so just mo another reason on how it could fail so this the bumper all the way of the tire is on the bumper and that mount is secured to the bumper but its main job is just to hold it in place so it doesn't fall out and that's not a whole lot of weight um, we've had long trips people driving behind us telling us it doesn't shake an inch um it's on there pretty good so didn't see a whole lot of these setups um i've seen the ideas of it going underneath the rv and unless you have a class a that's really long you know there's not a whole lot of space under this this is a 30 footer um technically maybe 28 29 but just about 30 feet there's not a lot of space under the rv and um i wouldn't want to be crawling under there if i ever needed it this is a lot more accessible comes off with a bolt i could take off the bolt tire could roll out that way or i could take the whole thing out there's just a lot of ways of taking this uh tire mount off if i ever needed to so um it's there just in case um but wanted to share this because i didn't really see a ton of good ideas or just a ton of ideas of how to get the larger tire on a class c rv that had a bumper um, and I didn't want to use those other bumpers. I, I bought one that is, uh, I'll leave the manufacturer name out of it, but it's technically supposed to go in the hitch receiver on the front side of your rig versus the back. I, I suppose it could work in the back, but um, I did try that. And then my tire didn't end up actually fitting on the um, mount that was meant for that. And all the other ones, I, I think they're just too small. I think they're meant for smaller travel trailer um, tires, which are just not as heavy. So um, don't have any calcs to back that up, but I feel a lot more comfortable with this setup. So hopefully this gives you an idea of something you might be able to do. That's it. Thanks.